here we are. Here comes another country into the fray. The country is Italy, and they're fighting Austria-Hungary. At that time, Austria-Hungary controlled, obviously, Austria. And Hungary, which bordered Italy. And when Italy saw the successes the Russians were having in... The Russians were having in the Carpathian Mountains, they thought, hey, if we join the Entente powers now, then maybe we can, um, maybe we can win back some of the land that Austria-Hungary took away. So, the Italians declared war on the Austro-Hungarians in, um, early 1915, and immediately attacked the Isonzo River. And the Austro-Hungarians attacked as well. And so there was um, battles along the Isonzo. These proved to be um, mostly inconclusive, and um, most of them also very indecisive. And um, a stalemate along the Isonzo River. Here's a picture of an Italian trench in those days. Supplying the army was hard because of the um, fighting in the Alps, but both sides had special troops for um, mountain fighting. This shows an Austro-Hungarian um, supply line running in through the mountain passes. Wow, this just goes to show you just what kind of um, climate that and environment condition the Austro-Hungarians and Italians were fighting in. The um, war dragged on through it, um, in Italy with these um, with these Isonzo battles. Eventually, um, the Austro-Hungarians um, launched the Trentino Offensive, and then the Italians launched the Piave Offensive which loosened things up a bit, but then in 1917, the Germans and Austro-Hungarians defeated the Italians um, at, badly at Caporetto, Caporetto, and, um, and then we'll talk more about, um, the, um, the Italian counteroffensive sometime later. So that is a bit about the beginnings of the war in Italy.